Hi, I'm Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Here in this video, I will show you how we can solve this uh, series RLC circuit using Laplace transform. Here we will also see how to write KVL equation for this uh, series RLC circuit and the S domain representation of this RLC series circuit. So let's understand these concepts with the help of this question that that i'm going to solve here this question was asked in ies indian engineering services in 1998 so you are going to learn a lot with the help of this question so i request you to watch this video till the end so that you can understand various concepts in this question alone let's see the question the question is the switch closes in the circuit of figure at t equal to zero okay Assuming a relaxed circuit at the time of switching, determine the current I for T greater than zero. Also find the voltage VL across the inductance for T greater than zero. Here it says that this switch has been closed at T equals to zero and the initially the circuit is relaxed and at the time of switching. So we want to determine the current I that is flowing in this circuit for T greater than zero and we also want to find the voltage across this inductor okay for t greater than zero this question was asked in ies so let's see how we can solve this question with the help of laplace transform actually laplace transform converts this time domain circuit into frequency domain and uh, there it becomes easy to solve this circuit we will convert this circuit into s domain circuit s domain representation of this circuit so let's see how to do it all the values of these electronic components are indicated here in this circuit now see how we can represent each component into its s domain the s domain representation of this resistor of 20 ohm is as it is 20 ohm and for the inductor it is s into l the value of the inductance was 0.05 as you can see the value of the inductance was 50 milli henry so it is 0.05 henry so 0.05 into s s into l okay and for if you see the value of capacitor so the value of the capacitor was 20 microfarad so 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 and uh, to represent it into s domain we write it as 1 divided by s c so 1 divided by s and c is the value of the capacitance which was 20 microfarad 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 we can uh, further solve it as 5 into 10 to the power 4 divided by s okay on just solving it 1 by 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 converts into 5 into 10 to the power 4 and uh, this is uh, this voltage was of 100 volts so for a constant term the its uh, laplace transform is uh, that constant term divided by s so 100 by s now this circuit has been converted just uh, notice these uh, red uh, red representations red color so 100 by s 20 ohm 0.05 s and uh, 5 into 10 to the power 4 divided by s these are the s domain representations of all these electronic components okay now this now we can treat this uh, this uh, circuit as simple a resistive circuit we will consider them as they are all resistances okay now after converting them in uh, s domain or in the frequency domain for the calculation purpose they will behave simply as resistors okay so we can apply simply ohm's law here it is now a simple circuit v equals to ir is the ohm's law so v v is what it is the voltage v so now the voltage is not 100 it is 100 by s we are talking in s domain frequency domain so 100 by s v is equals to i i is now the it has been converted initially it was i in time domain so it's uh, s domain representation is represented as is so v equals to is into r r is what since these all are uh, series circuits uh, in series and uh, are treated here as simple resistances so 20 this is 20 this is plus uh, 0.05 s plus 5 into 10 to the power 4 divided by s since in uh, series uh, 
series connection all the resistances are added so simply we have added them to find the equivalent resistance v equals to i r very simple now the question is nothing but simply it converts into a v equals to i r ohm's law formula so from this i equals to v divided by this equivalent resistance so i i s is equals to from this transfer this in and this part goes into denominator so i s from this equation equals to 100 by s divided by this whole term okay you can understand it so friends this is the expression of i s and to find the i t as uh, i want to find the current i okay this is the requirement of this problem i uh, we want to find i so this i current can be easily calculated from this i s this is the s domain representation of uh, current i and if we take its uh, inverse laplace inverse laplace transform then easily we can get current i t okay this is the expression but before uh, uh, changing it into before taking its uh, inverse laplace transform i want to tell you one more thing that uh, here you see that uh, we have used the s domain representation of each of these components but as i told you that i will also uh, tell you how to apply kvl in this uh, circuit for this r l and c components so i want to sh also show you that uh, uh, even on applying kvl for this uh, this comp these components i will get this same expression and you will learn another concept here the same equation can also be obtained using other method of kvl okay this equation so on applying kvl kvl is what according to kvl the kirchhoff's voltage law the net potential drop in a closed loop is always zero so let's calculate you see after on, uh, on applying this uh, kvl equation i am getting this expression this expression is same as this expression okay i will show you how to solve it uh, the further steps so how to apply this uh, kvl in this circuit this is applied in the time domain okay in time domain you see uh, let's assume that uh, we are considering that the current is flowing in clockwise direction as shown here so let's uh, add the voltages across each element each of these four elements and it should result into zero net potential drop across this loop uh, you can take any direction of uh, current flow here i am taking clockwise direction so clockwise means if i take this uh, uh, first component the net potential drop across this from going from uh, lower to higher okay from in this way so it is 100 volts okay potential drop drop across it is plus 100 volts so let's now go to another element it is a resistor current is flowing in this direction so as we know that current always flows from uh, higher potential to lower potential it means this current at this point uh, of is this side of this resistor potential is high and at this side potential is low and uh, potential difference means final potential minus initial potential so final minus initial means lower minus higher potential so it will be with negative sign so minus of uh, potential difference across uh, resistor is i into r i am taking i as the current so i t it current and it is in it is in time domain so it into 20 and with negative sign so you see here this equation 100 this was source potential uh, the voltage source and this r into it ir potential this is voltage and with negative sign let's take another uh, element which is the inductor for inductor the current is uh, the voltage is l dit by dt if dit is the varying time varying current in time domain so l dit by dt is the voltage drop and uh, why it is negative sign the same uh, concept since current is flowing from this side to this side as we are taking the clockwise direction so higher potential is at this place and lower potential is at this place since we are assuming higher to lower direction uh, as we are assuming this direction of uh, current and current always flows from higher to lower side so final it means lower potential minus this initial that is the higher potential will uh, will give us the negative sign so negative sign and uh, the expression for the potential drop 
for this inductor is LDITYDT with negative sign and this same concept applies here for the capacitor the negative sign and 1 upon C integral ITDT is uh, the uh, is the voltage across the capacitor and the negative sign uh, has the same reason that I have explained for these two so current is flowing in this direction so lower potential minus higher potential and minus and value of capacitance is 20 so 1 upon C integral IT DT let's put all these values 100 and R is 20 ohm here IT 20 IT minus L is 0 0.05 and DIT by DT minus C C is 20 microfarad 20 mu mu is 10 to the power minus 6 and integral IT DT equal to 0 so this net potential drop is 0 sum of all these uh, uh, potentials potential differences across all these components in this closed loop is zero according to KVL Kirchhoff's voltage law and on taking Laplace transform uh, its Laplace transform of a constant term is 100 by s minus 20 minus 20 IT's Laplace transform is IS and this minus 0 0.05 DIT by DT Laplace transform of this differential term is you should know the basics of the Laplace transform actually so DIT by DT is Laplace transform is S into IS 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 the Laplace transform of IT actually okay and for differential this term comes okay S IS and this is same 1 by 20 mu is 10 to the power minus 6 micro and this integral integral Defla transform of this uh, integral IT DT is uh, IS by S okay you should know it and from this if I take IS common then you can easily solve it that IS is equals to 100 by S divided by all these terms okay you can just uh, arrange these uh, simple algebraic uh, uh, functions algebraic uh, expression you see here that this expression for IS that we have obtained from the KVL by applying it in the time domain is same as that we are we got it uh, by applying it in the frequency domain circuit okay so now uh, this is the same thing that we are getting in both of these domains and now our purpose is uh, to find the IT time domain current and after that we will uh, calculate the voltage the second part of this uh, question is also find the voltage VL across the inductance that is nothing if I, I am getting current IT then I, IT I am getting and current I and uh, I know the inductance value so simply I can uh, calculate the voltage across this inductor as I want to find current IT by taking its inverse Laplace so for this I need to arrange it in a particular arrangement so that I can easily take its uh, inverse Laplace uh, so to remove this S uh, from this uh, numerator and to make this uh, equation uh, quadratic I, I have to multiply this uh, numerator and denominator by S on multiplying this numerator and denominator by S I will get this expression this is the expression okay 100 and this everything will be multiplied by S you can check and after this uh, I divided it with 0 0.05 in the numerator and denominator to get this expression now this expression 100 divided by 0 0.05 is 2000 and uh, divide everything in the denominator by 0 0.05 and you will get this this uh, this expression and this uh, quadratic equation can be this this quadratic expression can be converted into these factors s plus 200 whole square plus 979.79 square and uh, but why I'm doing this actually I'm doing this because uh, if you see this expression that the Laplace transform of e to the power minus 80 sine of omega t is omega divided by s plus a whole square plus omega square and I want to arrange this expression this expression into this this format so that I can easily uh, take its Laplace transform now you see just compare this part with this part here you, see, you will see that uh, this a value of a is uh, 200 while the value of omega is 979.79 but uh, you will see here that this omega actually this omega is this part 979 part and this is missing at this place here it is 2000 so I want 
the same value omega at this and this place so i will what will i do i will multiply and divide this expression with the 979.79 so that there is no change on multiplying and dividing the expression with the same number so 979 at this place and divide it also by 979 and uh, you see now this expression has uh, the same format as this okay so here the omega is this this is the a comparing on comparing it with this so i can easily uh, write this expression as this it's laplace inverse laplace so e to the power minus a t so it is e e to the power minus a t so uh, first see this part i t that i t has been converted to this is what on solving this you will get 2.04 and this part this expression can be written as this so e to the power minus a t e to the power minus a a is what on comparing this a a is 200 so 200 into t minus a t sine of omega t sine of omega you know omega is what omega is 979.79 so omega into t t is t so here uh, i t expression i have uh, got this so from i s on taking its inverse laplace i got this i t that was the that was asked in the question now our next part is find the potential drop okay the voltage vl across this inductor so it's very simple current voltage is what if i get the current then current and the resistance of this component so it is very simple so now the voltage across the inductor is vl in s domain actually first i'm uh, calculating it in s domain so that i can treat this inductor as simply as a resistor and then i will get its uh, inverse laplace so vl is equals to v is i into r so is i know the value of is here is the is okay is into l into s okay l into s is what l into s is the you know here l into s is its s domain representation of this inductor okay so ls into current flowing through this will give us the value of voltage across this inductor so is into ls is into l l is 0 0.05 and s so vl voltage across the inductor in s domain is just multiply this and you will get this expression now uh, this uh, but uh, i want to find this in time domain so i want to take its laplace inverse laplace transform so i will use this formula the same concept that we followed for the sine omega t uh, will be followed here for cos omega t so it is uh, the laplace transform of uh, e to the power minus a t cos omega t is s plus a divided by s plus a whole square plus omega square i want to arrange this into this kind of expression so that i can easily compare these so you see here 100 and i i i want that this is a uh, this you see here this is s and this is uh, this part is a a is 200 and omega is again 97 9.79 here but uh, here in numerator i want expression like s plus a so here it is not s plus a it is just s so i will write here 100 as it is and at the place of s i will write s plus a got it s plus a is what was a a was 200 so s plus a expression but you see that i cannot change this so uh, it should be 100 s and i have written 100 into s plus 200 just to uh, make it uh, something like this s plus a so i want to um, to compensate it you see on multiplying what it becomes it is 100 s plus 100 into 200 that is 20000 so i have added by doing so i have added 20000 extra so i need to subtract 20,000 this is a simple algebraic things I, I, you can understand it but i am just explaining you for some guys that are not able to understand it so just uh, i have done this to compensate this i have subtracted 20,000 from this you can write it as uh, vls vls is equals to this part 
this part okay this part divided by this new uh, denominator and minus this 20,000 divided by this denominator simple now I need to calculate the uh, this inverse Laplace of this expression and also this expression first take this part this is the expression okay so you see this uh, Laplace transform on taking inverse Laplace transform of this part okay first this part so it is 100 as it is and uh, this is what s plus a s plus a whole square plus omega square okay this is for cos this is for cosine function you see s plus a s plus a whole square plus omega square so it can be written as e to the power minus at cos omega t e to the power minus a a is 100 a t cos omega t omega was this part so this is same as we have done this part and uh, for this expression you see first for this expression I will do the same thing that uh, was done here the same thing uh, as I multiplied this by 979 in the numerator and denominator to get omega in the numerator okay so I'm doing the same thing at this place also since there is no omega at this place so to change it into this format omega divided by s plus a whole square plus omega square omega divided by s plus a whole square plus omega square so to get uh, omega that is 979 at this place i will multiply and divide this expression by 979.79 979.79 and multiply and divide so i will get this as uh, this part is uh, i am repeating this part so no need to repeat it you can understand it so this minus sign at this place and on solving this this part this is in bracket so it is a 20.41 and this part is nothing but simply e to the power minus 200 t sine of this omega t from this expression okay this was in the form of omega s plus a whole square plus omega square omega s plus a whole square plus omega square so it converts to sine of this part so i think you understand that this uh, now this uh, vl which was in uh, s domain initially has been converted this potential difference across the inductor in the time domain you see everything is in t time domain no s s representation frequency domain here so in this way we learned here how we can uh, solve a circuit rlc circuit uh, with the help of uh, laplace transform then converting this treating it as a resistive network and solving the circuit uh, in just by applying ohm's law and then converting back into its time domain by taking its inverse laplace transform we also learned here how we can apply in time domain the kirchhoff's voltage law so in this way you can solve any circuit easily by taking its uh, Laplace transform and then taking back its inverse Laplace transform. Hope you guys uh, understood all the concepts and these concepts will be used in solving many problems. The main thing is the concept. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned the concept that I wanted to tell you. So for more such videos you can subscribe to my YouTube channel Engineering Made Easy so that you will get the notifications of my latest uploaded videos and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it see you guys soon in the next video thank you so much for watching this video till the end